How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to set up the Brother HLL 2350DW wireless laser printer with a wireless network. I'm going to show you two different ways to set it up. One really, really easy, it's the WPS Wi-Fi protected setup feature on the printer and hopefully on a router that you have access to. And number two, I'm gonna show you how to set it up, inputting the password directly into the printer. The second way is a lot more of a pain in the butt, but it is still doable. This method will work with other printers such as the 2340, 2360, 2370, and other HL series printers or other brother printers with the same little LCD screen set up as the 2350. I do thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up so other people can find it and solve their Wi-Fi problems. If you have any questions or comments or problems, put them in the comment section. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and let's get into the tutorial. Now we're going to navigate down, down, down to network. We're gonna hit okay. You're going to see, as you can see, there's a couple different options here. WLAN, Wi-Fi Direct, Network Reset. We're gonna go to WLAN, hit okay. Here we see a couple different menus. You get TCP IP, Setup Wizard, WLAN Assistant, WPS, WPS with pin code, status, MAC address, enable, TCIP. So that's the menu we cycled through it. We're gonna go to WPS. It's wireless protective setup or something like that. And it's the easiest way to connect this to your router if you have a WPS capable router. So we're gonna hit okay, WLAN enable, you're gonna press down for on or up for off. So we're gonna hit down to turn it on. Then we're going to hit next. And it started to set the WLAN. We're gonna let that go. Our Wi-Fi button is blinking and I'm going to go over to my router. I have my router right here. I have a ASUS RTAC68U. I have a WPS button on the side right here. I'm going to hold that down my uh, power button's gonna start blinking. That's how it works on an ASUS. But your router, it may vary. So if you don't know how the WPS button works on your router, you might have to Google that. But now it is connecting my printer to my router just by using the WPS feature. You can see it says connected right here. Now the printer is on the network. That is method number one. In regards to Wi-Fi, if there is no light on this Wi-Fi button, Wi-Fi on the printer is turned off. If it is blinking, it is looking for a signal or it's trying to connect, but it's not connected. And if it's solid green, that means you are connected to the network. This is the second method, how to connect it to Wi-Fi and we're gonna have to go back into the screen and plug in our Wi-Fi password manually and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. We're gonna cycle through the menu and get down to network and then we're gonna hit okay and it says WLAN, we're going to hit okay again. We're going to scroll down to set up wizard and we're going to hit okay again. WLAN enable, down for on, up for off. We're going to turn it on by pressing down and now it is searching for your SSID, that's your network name, and it should pop up with a network name. You can scroll through them until you see yours. Ours popped up first, it was, Spearsy Town is the name of our network name. If yours doesn't pop up, you can scroll through it and see if, it, if it's the second or the third one that it finds, but once you find your network name, you can hit okay. Now it's asking for network key, which we're going to have to type in using these up and down arrows. It is such a pain, but you have to do it. You can't make any mistakes here, otherwise you will not connect to your network. Uppercase and lowercase are sensitive. So I'm gonna type in my password right now. Everything is lowercase. Our password is year of the pig. So I got to the Y and then I'm going to hit okay. And then I'm going to do my next letter and next letter and next letter. And you guys know how it is. And I'm just gonna fast forward through this real quick as I type in my password.
Okay, so we typed it all in. It is the biggest pain in the butt of setting this whole entire printer up if you have to do this because your WPS is not working. We typed in our entire password, case sensitive, and we're going to hit okay one more time. I'm gonna hit okay one more time. Apply settings, down for yes, up for no. We're going to hit down and now it is connecting to that network. It is essentially typing in that password to the router. And as you can see, we got connected here as well as our solid Wi-Fi light. Now that your printer is connected to Wi-Fi, you should be good to install it on whatever device you're gonna be printing off of, phones, computers, whatever. I do have a tutorial that's super long and in depth with a lot of different parts and information about this printer. I will put a link to that in the description. Feel free to check that out if you wanna know more information about this printer. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video, bye.